to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are not new here, welcome back. Uh, this is Lil Cricket Crafts and I'm Lily. Today we're doing another craft I'm super excited about. And it's gonna consist of this cute little Dollar Tree find. I mentioned on my Dollar Tree haul yesterday and it is just this simple wooden chalkboard. You can use chalk on it, but I'm not gonna use chalk on it. I'm going to make a decal with my Cricut Explore Air 2 and put that on here. But first, I'm going to use my black and white acrylic paint from Dollar Tree as well. It is the Crafter Square brand. I'm actually gonna try to make it like a washed out gray, grayish black by mixing these. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm also going to be using what I showed on my Dollar Tree haul, my foam paint brushes. Um, we're gonna get started on that craft today and I'm gonna take you along for this journey. So now that I'm in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to open up a new project. Now I'm going to go over to text and I know I want mine to say this house runs on love and laughter. Looks super cute on this chalkboard, but I'm going to go up to my toolbar and change my font and I'm going to use the moon day that I downloaded. I don't like the way that these letters are so spaced out. So in my last video, I kind of showed you, but I'm going to show you again. So when I don't like it like that, I'm going to go up here to the letter space on the toolbar and I'm going to press the down arrow until I see that they are aligning the way I want them to. I've got them kind of where I want them. I'm going to go over here on the right and press ungroup. This is gonna make every single letter individual so I can move them all individually. So now I'm going to line them up. Now that I have each word lined up the way I want it to, I'm actually going to highlight the word and then I'm gonna go up here to the toolbar where it says align I'm going to press the drop down arrow and I'm going to hit align bottom. This is going to make sure that the bottom, they're nice and straight words because it's easy to move them up and down when we're moving them individually. After I hit align bottom, I'm going to go ahead since it's already all together and highlighted. I'm going to go ahead over here on the right toolbar and hit group. So now I grouped the word this back together. Now I'm going to do the same thing for every single word. Now that they're all aligned perfectly and they're grouped together, I'm going to arrange this how I want it to look on my actual chalkboard. And a cool trick here is we can go up to templates and this will give you in Cricut Design Space a bunch of templates so you can imagine it on a object that you're doing. So this is just an example. I'm sure they don't have a little chalkboard on here. But this is just an example to show you that they have all of these templates you can use if you were to want to put a decal on one of these things. And it's not going to print it out. It's simply for you to, to help you visualize it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to shapes and put my own five by four square because that's how big my chalkboard is. So I have adjusted my words. I made them a little bit bigger and I um, spaced them on the decal um, square on Cricut Design Space the way I would want them on my actual um, object. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the words and I'm going to group them together. So now I can move this entire decal all together so I know I'm not gonna mess it up now because I have it how I want it now just for 
extra because I think it would be cute. I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to actually add a heart as well. Now this heart, I'm going to make it white because I'm going to have it white on my chalkboard. I'm going to make it real small. I just think it would look super cute on the board since we're talking about love and laughter. And so here is my virtual right now chalkboard. Now all I will have to do is click on my grouped together decal and hit attach on the right hand side at the bottom there's the word attach we're going to hit that and now this will um, go to our mat when we hit make it it'll go to our mat all in one decal so now it's just one decal and if we wanted to we can cut it out and put it on there exactly like that or you can cut out individually and play with it the way you want to when you're on the chalkboard. Um, so I most of the time just put it all together and attach it the way it is so that it's much easier to put on the object itself. And then we have our heart. I didn't add that because I might change my mind and want to move it around on the chalkboard once it's printed. And then of course I won't print this black square. I just used that for um, visualization purposes. So when I, if I want to just delete this, I can go here on the mat and press the three dots and hide selected. Now we have nothing on here. We're just going to worry about this white mat. I'm going to pull out my um, Cricut mat, my light blue one, because it's a just adhesive vinyl and I don't need a super strong one. And we're going to cut out our adhesive vinyl onto our mat, tape it down and put our Cricut to work. Now that we have created our decal on Cricut Design Space, I am taping all of my adhesive vinyl down to make sure it is nice and secure for the Cricut to work. So guys, I wanna show you the reality of things. Sometimes vinyl doesn't work the way you want it with the font that you want it to work with. For example, on this particular vinyl, I used matte white because that's the only white I had left. Well, it turns out that the matte white does not cut well with very intricate um, design fonts where there's really small parts of it. This is what happens. So as you can see, it doesn't do well with the matte type of vinyl. Um, it's just, sometimes it just doesn't work with the font that you want and that's just life. So we're gonna accept it. And like usual, we're gonna change pads and use a different vinyl. So after the mishap with the white, um, I found this off-white. It's like almost like a very, very, very faint gray. And I think it's gonna look awesome considering I'm using like a grayish um, paint around the chalkboard. So changing past plan B, we're gonna use this for our decal. And it's not the matte, it's the glossy adhesive vinyl. And the glossy adhesive vinyl, I know from experience, cuts much better for the very intricate um, fonts that I like to use. So let's give this a second shot. Now that I have cut out my vinyl to match my decal on the virtual Cricut mat, I'm going to tape it down to make sure it's secure and ready for the Cricut to cut. So the Cricut has finished cutting and now we start the weeding process. Now that our decal is all weeded and ready to go, I will get my transfer paper, uh, line it up, cut it out at the exact size, and we can put this on our top. So I cut out my awesome uh, transfer paper from Amazon, of course, linked below. And now we are going to peel it off, put it over our decal, and slap this baby on our chalkboard. Let's go. Now 
now here is our finished product. I did the washed out gray since we had to change courses of color on the vinyl. And I think it pops really well with the washed out gray vinyl we use instead of the white. This house runs on love and laughter. The paint is still drying and I'll probably touch it up around the edges a bit. Still, once it dries on this coat, but here is our little DIY. You can set it up anywhere in your home.